So today, let's talk about two popular note-taking apps, Joplin and Obsidian. Both are great for different reasons, but deciding which one you should use depends on what you need from a note-taking tool. Let me break it down for you. Alright, so let's start with Obsidian. If you've ever wished your notes could be more than just a list of things you wrote down, this app is for you. It's not just a regular note-taking tool, it's designed to help you connect ideas, organize thoughts, and build a second brain. That might sound a little dramatic, but honestly it's a pretty cool concept. The way Obsidian works is different from your typical notes app. Instead of just saving notes in folders, it encourages you to link them together. Think of it like a giant web of ideas where one note can lead to another, and over time, you start seeing patterns and connections you might not have noticed before. This is especially great for writers, researchers, or anyone who likes to brainstorm and develop ideas in a more visual way. One of the things that makes Obsidian stand out is its knowledge graph. Every time you link notes together, Obsidian creates a graph that visually represents how everything is connected. If you've ever had a bunch of scattered ideas and struggled to bring them all together, this feature can be a game changer. It helps you see how your thoughts relate to each other, making it easier to build on existing ideas and generate new ones. Since Obsidian is built around Markdown, it's super lightweight and fast. Everything you write is stored in plain text, which means your notes are future-proof, you're not locked into any specific software, and you can open them with any text editor if you ever decide to move away from Obsidian. The downside is that there's no fancy formatting toolbar like you'd find in traditional word processors so you'll need to get comfortable with Markdown if you want to format your notes efficiently. Customization is a huge part of Obsidian. Right out of the box, it's pretty minimal, but that's because you're meant to build it the way you like. There's a massive plugin ecosystem, with everything from simple tools to improve navigation to complex features that completely change how you use the app. Some people turn Obsidian into a full-on task manager, while others use it purely for research and note linking. Whatever your workflow, there's probably a plugin for it. Even though Obsidian is a powerful tool, it's still an offline first app. This means your notes are stored on your device, and you'll need to figure out your own syncing solution if you want to access them on multiple devices. They do offer Obsidian Sync, which costs $4 per month, but if you prefer a free option, you'll have to set up something like Dropbox or OneDrive to keep everything in sync. Security-wise, Obsidian does offer encryption, but they manage it for you. That means they store your encryption password on their servers, which makes things more convenient but might not be ideal if you're very privacy-conscious. They say they won't access your notes without your permission, but if you prefer handling your own encryption, you might want to look at other options. One area where Obsidian isn't the best is web clipping and exporting notes. While you can copy and paste things into Obsidian and it will automatically convert them to Markdown, it's not as smooth as a dedicated web clipper tool. Also, when it comes to exporting, your only built-in option is PDF, which might be limiting if you need your notes in other formats. As for pricing, Obsidian is free to use with no signups required. You can install community plugins, themes, and API integrations at no cost. If you want to support development or get early access to new features, there's an optional $25 one-time payment for the Insider program. For businesses, there's a commercial license at $50 per user per year. So, who should use Obsidian? If you're the kind of person who loves organizing ideas, making connections between notes, and creating a structured system for your thoughts, this app is perfect. It's also great if you want a note-taking tool that you can customize to fit your workflow. 
But if you're looking for something simpler, or if you need rich text formatting and built-in collaboration tools, it might not be the best fit. Joplin is a bit different. While Obsidian is all about linking ideas and building knowledge graphs, Joplin is a more traditional note-taking app. If you just want to take notes, organize them into notebooks, and have them easily accessible across devices, Joplin might be a better option for you. One of the best things about Joplin is that it works completely offline. You don't have to rely on cloud services if you don't want to, but if you do need syncing, you can use services like Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. They also have their own paid sync service, Joplin Cloud, which makes syncing easier without needing a third-party service. The writing experience in Joplin is markdown-based, just like Obsidian, but Joplin gives you a little more flexibility. There's a toolbar with options for formatting text, inserting links, adding images, and even creating tables. If you like Markdown but also want some rich text editing options, Joplin strikes a nice balance between the two. Joplin also has a web clipper, which is something Obsidian doesn't do as well. If you like saving articles or snippets from web pages, Joplin's web clipper for Chrome and Firefox makes it super easy. You can clip entire pages, simplified versions, or even just a screenshot. This makes Joplin a really good choice for researchers or anyone who likes to collect information from the web. In terms of security, Joplin takes end-to-end -end encryption seriously. This means your notes are encrypted before they even leave your device, and not even Joplin's developers can access them. If privacy is a big concern for you, Joplin's encryption system might give you more peace of mind compared to Obsidian's managed encryption. Joplin supports templates, but you'll need to install a plugin to use them. It's not difficult to set up, and once you have it, you can create templates for things like meeting notes, daily journals, or project tracking. One of Joplin's biggest advantages is its exporting options. Unlike Obsidian, which only lets you export to PDF, Joplin allows you to save notes in Markdown, HTML, PDF, and even Joplin's own format. If you like having more control over backups and exporting, this is a huge plus. Joplin is also completely free to use, and the only time you'll need to pay is if you want Joplin Cloud for easier syncing. The basic plan starts at €2.40 per month, with higher tier plans available if you need more storage or collaboration features. So, who should use Joplin? If you want a simple, no-fuss note-taking app that works offline, syncs across devices, and gives you better formatting and web clipping options, Joplin is a great choice. It's also a better option if you care about strong encryption and more flexible exporting options. But if you're looking for deep knowledge management, idea linking, and a customizable experience, Obsidian is the better fit.